the continuous random variable x has probability density function f given by sketch the function f and show that the lower quartile is 0 0.5 so the first question is just uh, uh, we need draw f of x it's quite easy from 0 to 0 0.5 it's a straight line to x and from 0 0.5 to 2 y is 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3 x so it looks like this and actually probability density function exists only for continuous uh, random variable not discrete and the key idea is that probability is that x is greater than a or, uh, and less than b is equal to integral from a to b density function dx and notice that it doesn't matter uh, endpoints are included or not because uh, x probability that x is equal to any point is zero uh, probability is uh, not zero only for interval and what about lower quartile it's actually by definition uh, lower quartile it's uh, such point x let it be q so that integral from minus infinity to q f of x dx is 0 0.25 so prob probability 0 0.25 similarly median it's when integral from minus infinity to some uh, point which is median uh, f of x dx is uh, probability 0 0.5 and upper quartile uh, probability 0 0.75 and uh, integral its area and we can see that uh, from ne uh, from negative infinity to 0 function is uh, 0 hence integral is also 0 and we can see that area from 0 to 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 hence x is 0 0.5 is lower quartile the next question determine e of x expected value or mean it is also denoted as mu and determine expected value of x squared formulas uh, are given in data booklet and expected value expected value of x is uh, uh, integral from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, x multiplied by f of x dx and it is equal to integral from 0 to 0 0.5 x multiplied by 2x dx plus integral from 0 0.5 to 2 x multiplied by 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3 x dx and it can be easily calculated and it is equal to 5 over 6 and uh, to find expected value of x squared we need just integrals uh, with uh, x squared multiplied by f of x and it's uh, it's uh, also can be easily calculated and it is equal to 7 over 8 and the next question two independent observations are made from x and uh, the values are added uh, the resulting ra random variable is denoted y determine expected value of y minus 2x and determine variance of y minus 2x so y is x1 plus x2 and expected value of y minus 2x is equal to for expected value it uh, always can be split according to formula within brackets so it's uh, just expected value of y minus uh, 2 expected or actually expected value of uh, uh, 2x which is equal to minus 2 expected value of x and expected value of y it's uh, expected value of x1 plus x2 
to and also it can be split into expected value x1 plus expected value o x2 and it is equal to expected value of x plus expected value of x minus two expected value of x and it's just zero and what about variance variance y minus 2x we can write that variance y my y minus 2x is equal to uh, for variance it's always plus when we split uh, sum or difference of two events so it's and actually the formula is given in data booklet for combination of, of events for variance or expected value variance y plus variance over 2x and uh, notice that there is difference for variance that variance of 2x is uh, for variance x it's uh, or in general variance ax variance ax it's uh, a squared variance x formula is given in data booklet and variance over sum for example x1 plus x2 it's 2 not 4 it does 2 variance x so it is equal to variance y plus variance of 2x and it is equal to variance of x1 plus x2 plus 4 variance x and variance over sum it's vari variance x plus variance x or just 2 variance x plus 4 variance x which is equal to 6 variance x and we need to find variance x but according to formula it is also given in data booklet variance it's expected value of x squared minus expected value or mean squared and we can use uh, the previous uh, results for expected value and expected value of x squared and we can get that it is equal to 13 over 72 hence re required variance is 6 times 13 over 72 which is equal to 13 over 12 and that's all for this question